Hey everybody. I want to discuss weapon lights real quick and do a little comparison between several of them. I have a Surefire 340 Pro. That's the dual fuel turbo. It measures 4.8 inches and 5 ounces. I've got a Cloud Defensive Rain and it measures 4.9 inches and weighs in at 5.4 ounces. Those weights are including the rechargeable batteries as well as an as well as an Arasaka mount in the case of the rain and the Surefire swivel M-lock mount and all hardware in the case of the Surefire. Also, I have a Malkoff E2 Hyperthrow version 2.0, which as you may know, that is a two cell light. Uh, why does it compare? Well, because it weighs 4.1 ounces and it's only 5.2 inches in length. And that's with a bat with two Surefire batteries and an Arasaka mount. This is our Streamlight HLX. I like to use it with all my demos. It's a thousand lumens and almost 28,000 candela. It provides a very good foil for these lights. Next up is going to be our Surefire Pro. Those targets are two-thirds Ipsic white painted steel at 100 yards, three meters apart. Here's our Surefire. You can see it has an excellent amount of candela. It's rated at 100,000, I'm sorry, 95,000 candela, and I believe 600, 650-ish lumens, something like that. The two cell is the same as the one cell, more or less. I've tried both of them, and to my eye, there's no difference, and the ratings are very similar also. And up next, I want to demonstrate our Cloud Defensive Rain. The rain is definitely the most powerful light here. It's rated at, I believe, around 1,200 lumens and roughly 100,000 candela. And you can tell it really punches down range. Has a lot of throw and a lot of spill. A whole lot of spill and a whole lot of throw. So, where does our two cell CR123 Malkoff stack up. There you are. That's not bad. You can still make out our red chair down there a couple of meters in front of the firing line. Still make out our targets just fine. And it has an absolute boatload of spill so that we can see what's in our periphery. It is almost an ounce and a half lighter than our micro rain even though it's a full-size light and the rain is a as I said a micro and one thing that I do want to show you that I have found very interesting uh, Gene Malkoff has been making these lights not specifically this model but making these types of lights for about 15 years maybe a little bit longer uh, mid to late 2000s is when I found out about Gene and I used to buy his stuff uh, back then, you know, when it was hand engraved, made in his garage. Fun fact, Gene Malkoff started off as a chicken farmer who wanted a light that would allow him to better defend his coop at night. And ironically, that's a lot of what I do with my weapon lights. Anyway, here's our rain again. You can see it absolutely overpowers this Malkoff. It's using a rechargeable 18350. I have a Vapcell M11 V2 in there. It's about the best of its breed. It's a very potent battery. It's able to almost sustain a 10 amp draw. And I wanna just show y'all something about these. The Malkoff has been on the whole time. It's on the right. Here's our rain on the left. I kinda wanna demonstrate uh, little bit of a phenomena that I've noticed with these lights. What you see here is this rain is actually stepping down and throttling output because the heat buildup is significant but in conversation with Cloud Defensive they've stated that a lot of this throttling is due to the need to make battery life viable. You can see now they're, they're pretty similar at this point, actually. Here's our rain. Here's our Malkoff. The Malkoff's 
maybe pulling ahead a little bit. Yeah, and it's been on the whole time. I'm going to set it down right here. Let it point down range, the Malkoff that is. And leave it on. I was going to do a three-way beam comparison. However, one of my batteries is a little bit low on charge. Didn't charge it up before I started this, so I can't, sadly. We're just leaving the Malkoff on, blasting down range. Here's the Surefire. Just switched it on. You can see it's got a ton of throw, livable amount of spill. Nothing like our Malkoff here on the spill department, but it's definitely stronger at throw. Now, I haven't turned our Malkoff light off at all. It's just been blasting away downrange, as you've seen. You know, these micro lights have gotten bigger and heavier over the years. Uh, like I said, our, our, uh, our Malkoff is 5.2 inches and 4.1 ounces. That's with batteries and with mount. Whereas the smallest of our micro lights here is 4.8 inches and 5.1 ounces. And that's with battery and with mount. You know, I don't know if we're headed the right direction here um, with these lights. We're definitely getting more output absolutely but the size disparity they have become the new full size and the full size lights are even larger and you know i don't know how i feel about that necessarily but it is a thing it may or may not matter to you it's just something i've noticed also we're getting into the territory where we're putting out so much power and so much heat and having so much battery drain that even with rechargeable batteries Manufacturers are building step-down algorithms into these lights to preserve battery life, to offset heat buildup, etc. And that's something to keep in mind as well. As you see, our Malkoff has been on the whole time, and so has, uh, since I switched it on, the Surefire. But check that out downrange. That's our Surefire now. And here's our Malkoff. Malkoff looks very similar to when I switched it on. The Surefire, you can see it's, I can't see, I can barely see that little red chair aiming at the center target. At the right target, I can't see it at all. Our Malkoff still illuminates the whole spread of targets and that red chair. Surefire, Malkoff. The Surefire has stepped down significantly to where it's a very narrow corridor of light, and it's not near as punchy as it was before either. Here's our Malkoff, still freight training downrange. The Malkoff is rated at 30,000 lux and 600 lumens, and it seems to hold on to that very, very well. Anyway, um, maybe there is still a place for the older CR123 style lights, you know? Maybe they do still have a place. I feel like until thermal efficiency catches up and until we can provide this output with a little less drain and a little less heat, we're gonna be looking at a series of compromises. And that compromise is larger lights and shorter regulated output run times, as well as these built-in step-down algorithms. Notice the Malkoff has been on this whole time, and it's still just punching down range. Here it is compared to our Streamlight. The Streamlight is rated, like I said, at 28,000 lux almost, compared to the 30,000 of the Malkoff. Streamlight does have 400 more lumens, which is evident in the spill. But even being on all this time, you can see the Malkoff is still punching down range, and providing very usable spill. I don't know about you, but I'm impressed with this Malkoff. And even though it is a CR123 light, and even though it may not boast some of the impressive on paper numbers of the other lights we compared tonight, I think that in the real world, we're starting to see that um, some of these numbers need to be taken with an asterisk beside them, a little grain of salt. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this comparison and it's provided some food for thought and maybe helped you make some decisions regarding your kit.
anyway, until next time, y'all be safe out there and have fun.